Ooh. Off to a rough start. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling all artists. The Summer to Remember Art Contest starts right now. Stay to the end to get more info. We are going paddle boarding. We're going to go see the mangroves. Hopefully no crocodiles. And um, hopefully some dolphins. Very rarely do I ever feel like we are truly back. In Mexico? Yeah, in La Panita. I'm feeling it. Two five one. Oh, it's a back end. Okay. So she didn't have to draw the arrow because we pretty much go straight and back end. Okay. My that doesn't look. That doesn't look like an easy back end. <laughs> my pen's working awesome. <laughs> okay, so look, we just go like this. Boom. There you go. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, this isn't gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm wondering if you should use all this grass right here. I probably should. It's entirely blind to me, so you're gonna have to tell me how when to start cranking and how far to crank it. Okay, yeah, you're looking good. Sharp turning. More? Sharper? Slow. Sharper? Um, yeah, if you can. Yeah, sure. Glad well, that's you and not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Come on and bring her back. Can you let your nose go out? Watch out for that dri on your driver's side. Yeah, that I got it. House. No, I'll clear it. Okay. Okay, great. That's great. You can bring her back. And then if you can pull forward afterwards, you've got like six feet back here. Keep going. Four feet, three feet, two feet. Yeah, so, okay. And then you can pull forward and bring it over more to the driver's side. And you can go back at an angle because that's how it's positioned for you to go back at an angle. Good, good, good. You've got, go slow. Hmm, I really can't get over there much further. This is what you can't see. Oh yeah, sure. Well, I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, but that's what you couldn't see. Okay. So, yeah, I guess this is fine. It's just a little weird. <laughs> We're like, well, actually, I kind of like the privacy. I suppose, sure. And then you're gonna, can you park your truck this way? Let's see if we can park my truck on the other side. Okay. But yeah, look, we put the awning out. This is a nice little area to work out. Sure. Okay. So, Trish found a stand up paddleboard tour guide through a stand up paddleboard. Facebook page kind of thing? Yeah, I just looked up um, SUP Clubs, S-U-P, okay. Stand Up Paddleboard. And so she found, the reason- 800 feet, turn left. The reason we did this is because we only have two boards and the three of us wanted to go, so we thought we'd have to rent one and then we found out that we could get a tour. In a quarter and we thought that might be kind right of a fun way to Boulevard. kind of see the best place to paddle. Well, and the tour is only $25 each mm -hmm. if you have your own paddleboard. Yeah. So that's, I think that's worth it to get a local's inside scoop. And whenever you do a tour, always ask, where should I go to dinner? Where should I go to lunch? Yeah. Where's yeah. the best shopping? What's the best beach? Because they live here. Yeah. So um, that's how we ate such great food in Miami, mm -hmm. in Little Havana. So because she was like, no, that's the restaurant. Yeah. So anyway. All right, so I've got this with me. This is the adapter that goes into the paddleboard that has a Schrader valve so that we can blow these up. By mouth. <laughs> by the compressor on the truck. I'm very Super interested fast. to see if it's fast. Now, some people have said that you should not use a compressor on a truck because it creates moisture inside the board and then that could like deteriorate the board from the inside out. We talked to No Snow about it. They said you won't be doing it long enough to have any issues and after all the boards are coming back to Arizona where everything on the in the, pl yeah, on the planet, planet dries up. Dries. <laughs> But that's something to consider if you lived in a region like Florida or mm. somewhere in the Pacific Northwest and you were doing all the time, turn the boards left, might not ever turn right. dry. dry out. But I am interested to see if that's true. <laughs> <strong. laughs> okay. You ready? What's that? Ready to blow these puppies up? Yeah, I am. What's that? You want me to start pumping? No, we're gonna use the truck, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you oh, want to get that one un unwrapped? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There go. There we 
go. All right, you ready? Ready. Super curious, super curious. That's better. It's like, it's like when the movie comes on, it's like, you know what I mean? Yes. So I think that the compressor has better PSI in terms of getting the tires up to like 80 PSI, 110 PSI, but in terms of sheer volume of air, this is faster. Mom's going in the shade. It's hot out here. <laughs> this is Florida, man. There's no, it's not joking around. Here. It's like 90 degrees today and it's like 90% humidity. Yeah. It's so, hard. This is no joke, but it's all part of the workout. It's I, really you know, great. I actually really enjoy pumping this thing up by hand. I can oh, tell you, it's dude. Actually working. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Yes. I think you need to support your lower back by contracting your abs. I met Brandy. Oh, you did? Yeah, she's right there. We're carrying the board. Oh, she's carrying the board. Yeah. Great. And so she says uh, that she's gonna put one on her truck or car, okay. and then we're ready when she's ready, or she's, she's ready, ready when we're ready. ready. Here's okay. a little amateur hour for you. My SD trip is full on the GoPro. So uh, this entire segment of paddleboarding is gonna be brought to you by an iPhone, which is not great for audio, I apologize. It's phenomenal for video, but a bit shaky. But more importantly, I am susceptible to dropping the phone into the water. So we'll do the best we can on sharing this experience. Already we're loving it, it's been great. Uh, the Brandy, who's our, who's our guide, is fantastic. And she kind of gave us a little recap of where we're going, but let's uh, cue the music and get started. Just a bee, man. And now I'm levitating 95 stories up above the city. I've long to feel just the back of your hand rushing mine. Could this be real? Oh, I'm sitting on bed. Going through the mangroves, peaceful, seeing different kinds of birds. So it didn't take too long to realize that if there's strong wind and you really need to kind of get more stability or go faster to get down on your knees, you can really lean into that paddle. Uh, proper way to do it. You know, most of my clientele is beginners. So okay. A lot, of, a lot of beginner stuff. Sure. And so it's mostly what people want to learn is how to stand up. So, they were on the board. Yeah. Go nice and wide with your knees. Yeah. You go to all fours. Yeah. Head up. You look down. You're going down. Gotcha. You slowly get into a squat position. Mm hmm Bottom up. Paddle in the water is your biggest source of balance. I get a lot of clients that want to stay in squat position, which is fine. But you can slowly stand up, and as soon as you can move some water with that paddle, it's a huge source of balance. Go. Did you have a good time? Amazing. So much fun. No crocodiles. <laughs> no alligators. Even. No alligators, no crocodiles. Um, we did have a wonderful sup ride, stand up paddleboard yes. ride. Got a good workout in, and Brandy is all around amazing because she also gave us some great recommendations. So we're gonna mm. take you out to dinner. Yeah. What's, the taco even have, What's the taco place called? What's taco place called? We'll share in just a second. I can read off tons. Okay. Um, and tonight we have kind of a fun surprise for you. Oh no, I gotta tell him now. Oh, you gotta tell him now? Yep. So as we were paddling up and we were talking about different things, Brandy and her husband and some friends a few months ago started an ax throwing kind of happy hour area called Swamp Axe. Swamp Axe. Swamp Axe. So, if you have not seen our Lumberjack Festival episode up in Door County from season seven. That was amazing. Is this your Lumberjack hairdo? Yes. 
I really try to embody the spirit. But tomorrow, I'm going to wear my Summer to Remember shirt. Let's go! This Ford drilling. But one thing we did not get to do there was throw an axe, remember? Yes. It's the one thing we I wanted, wanted to, to do. We wanted so to. tonight we will be throwing axes. Is this real? I want to know. Let's just do it. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I lost my wallet, so you're gonna have to spot me the money. And yeah, if I lose, it. then you're gonna have to take the money back. Okay. So that's what fine. you want to bet. Like, where do beginners start? Like, yeah. set our expectations on before I place a bet with my son. Where do beginners start with wager? With pack? <laughs> oh no. Well, yes. It, it yes. <laughs> Some people will oh, walk okay. in the door and they're like. You don't have to tell me how to throw. And they'll just bounce them off the boards all night long. And some people will be like, I've never thrown anything. And okay, slam. here's the introduction. Boom. Bullseye. Right out. They're so, just at, they're experts right from the get-go. Oh. <laughs> you did say that. And you did. <laughs> Alright, let's just see. Let's just see what happens with no instruction. Alright, so I like the area you have to So you want to keep your axe perpendicular to the target? And I'm gonna say follow all the way through, but I'm not gonna do it because I've been ruining it. So straight back, straight forward. Boom. Whoa. Okay. Boom. So snowboard regular. Jeez. There's no five. Okay. Ooh. These are kill shots. These are ten. Ooh. And they're only for the tenth frame, and you have to call it. Well, you don't have to oh. go for a kill shot. That's kind of the hail mary pass. So if you're oh. down and you're like, ah, ten's the only thing that's gonna get me there, you can shoot for it, uh, and then it's it's all or nothing. So you either gotcha. get it and get ten points, or if okay. you inadvertently hit a bullseye, you still get zero points. Gotcha. Oh, I think, I think, oh wait, well. Let's and uh, does anyone do one handed? So if you want to throw one-handed, I throw more like a dart, less like a ball. So instead of stepping into it and throwing, yeah. Let's see if we can, uh... Oh, nice. Oh. So like a like a little like a. Okay, careful. All right, hold okay. on, hold on. Like this. You and still then... come back. But yeah, but don't look at me. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, watch. <laughs> All right. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be immense. Over immense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but really, focus, focus. Yes. yes! One-handed All right, Trish, step right up. Step I want to right get to it, and then you can play Caleb. Like this? Yeah, you're good. Like this? Like yeah. this. Looks great. Straight back. <laughs> oh, I just went like this. I just went like this. And you're like, good. Straight. Beautiful. The accent Love didn't it. turn. Okay. It didn't waver. That's what we're concerned about? Yeah. So like this. Right there. Oh! Woo! Yeah! Bravo! All right. So right here. So one, two, three. Ah. I'm on the board. Literally. Finally. Excellent coaching. Axe. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> you just gotta ask the question. <laughs> All right, so wait, so if we Hold on, Caleb, I gotta get this down before I whoop your butt. Oh, wait, can I go as long as with you? So can we set up some parameters? Okay. No, okay. Let that two inches like back. back. All right. 90 okay. degrees. Wait, hold on. Back. Oh! Are you up on the board? No? You got it. <laughs> Thirty six, that's what I got. Zero times zero divided by Zero. Thank, Thank you, guys. you guys. That was fun. Yeah, Thanks for the lesson. Yeah. Good fun getting to know you guys. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um, our dinner options are closing rapidly. Hey, it's Naples. If you're not first, you're last. Okay. Come on. Wait, what? Right? <laughs>
You see that? Are you warming up your axe throwing arm? Okay, let me give you a little tip if you ever, you, you have to do this. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was, well, I was a little scared actually. <laughs> <laughs> Watching your son go, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, other than that. Nerve wracking. A little tip, do not move your wrist. Keep that wrist solid and then bam. Anyway, a lot of fun. That's not all we want to talk to you about in this real-time update. This real-time update is here to tell you that the Summer to Remember Art Contest is back, baby. Yeah, that's it's right. back because we loved seeing all of your artwork mm -hmm. and we are looking forward to what is to come this year. And I know a lot of you are thinking, especially in the snow, whoa, whoa, whoa it's way too early to talk about Summer to Remember. <laughs> but in order to have your Summer to Remember shirt in your hands by Memorial Day, which mm -hmm. is the official kickoff of summer, we have to start right now. And in fact, we're already running out of time. Yes. You only have about a week and a half to submit your art. About 10 days. Okay, and then we're going to, uh, if you're not a graphic designer, don't worry. And if you're a kid, don't worry, submit it. It's just a contest. That's right. Or a, a concept contest where you mm -hmm. just sketch something on a napkin. And then we're gonna pick the top three designs. That's right, Mark, Tori, Trish, Caleb, Carson. <laughs> Order. And Charlie. And, and Charlie. Charlie. Okay, we're gonna pick the top three designs, and then if you're not a designer, we're gonna have our designer kind of polish it up and shine it up a little bit, right? And then in two weeks from now, we're gonna send an email out. So if you're not on our email list, mm -hmm. gotta hop on our email, and then you are gonna vote on the top design for Summer to Remember 2021. I can't wait to see what you submit. Yes. Yeah, so, so okay. So first to place submit, winner. to submit. Yes. Go to keepyourdaydream.com forward slash s two r Summer to Remember 21. S2R21 and all the rules and the contests and all the all the information that you need to know to enter will be right there. But I'll give you a little cat out of the bag. First place, $500. <laughs> yes. Second place, Harvest Host. Third place, Harvest Host. Yes. And bragging as you rights. say, bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think that's super cool. Yes. So, um, so anyway, we're very excited to embrace the summer with mm -hmm. you. You know, people give us all kinds of reasons why they buy a shirt. I just retired. We're going on a family vacation. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to this special place and we want to mark it with... Just bought a camper this year. Just bought a camper. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love those emails. So anyway, this is our way to bring the community together mm -hmm. so that you can see people out on the road. I can't tell you how many people like find each other. They take a picture. They send it to us. It's awesome. We're like, you guys didn't even know each other. I know. And then you find each other on the road. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even describe it. It does so, make the RV community a little bit smaller and it makes the KY community even stronger and yes. so we actually absolutely love doing this so and what just one quick note a dollar for every shirt goes to team rubicon which we're very excited about yes. it's the vets and uh it's also the charity of choice for e3 camping so we're pretty excited to have another resource to send funds over to team rubicon yes so thank you okay. so much so you know where the url is you don't have much time and uh let's see then we're going to now the episode is going to go over into the bird like it's kind of like bird sanctuary, sanctuary? Yes. yes and then there's lots of cool stuff in between this in between seasons after we leave naples we go up to sarasota we tailgated at a polo tournament we can't wait to share it's that absolutely with you. awesome yes. and then from there destin mobile all sorts of really cool stuff coming up and then of course the season 10 premiere and the announcement of summer to remember so wow okay yeah. lots going on <laughs> we have to get busy okay send us your sketches drawing if you are actually a graphic designer we want to see yours too yes so send them on in all right this is an amazing refuge. It's all marshland. There's protection for baby turtles, manatees, but the big lens cameras are out because the birds are waking up for the sunrise. So we're here to see it, maybe capture a few things for you to um, close out our time here in Naples. Which has been fun. Really fun. Yeah.